Da, da. Three, two, All right, I guess we're doing it. Go. Right in the heart of New York City, we have Wolf. New dunks. <laughs> man versus <laughs> man versus dog. <laughs> man versus man's best friend. Yeah, basically. <laughs> man's best friend versus dog's worst enemy. That's mm -hmm. deep right there. All right. Anyway, getting into this match. So actually, if you've seen earlier sets with uh. Mr. E, he's been doing a lot of like flurry attacks. Like he's constantly throwing out moves, uh, being really kind of putting up a wall of just hitboxes, you know. And there's been a little bit of that from Dark Moves also, but Dark Moves has also been like sort of pivoting to also be patient with those lasers and everything. But Mr. E is <laughs> right now his aggression just kind of been unanswered. Look at that, he gets desperate trying to get a uh, get off me down smash. He's retaliated with that super strong tip. And unfortunately, he does capitalize on that one, man. And that, that, that's a type of mistake that you can't really make at this level. Uh, it's something that's gonna, it's, you know, if, if it's made, it's gonna cost you. And he just showed his why. But answering back with his own down, with, his, with his, another down smash. That time it worked, though. That time it worked pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, he air dodging through him. I'm okay. surprised. I thought it was going to fare him. He has been uh, playing this game really well, but one thing is that he hasn't really been getting those edge guards. You know, he is notorious yeah. for, you know, he likes to go on stage. He likes to, he's, he's just a, I mean, actually, he likes to ledge trap also. But um, still, I'm, I'm surprised that there hasn't been a completed, like, I make Wolf die. At yeah, I'm, uh, that, that is something that I'm, I'm actually surprised at as well, because it's, it's all beautiful rising counter. Understand that he's probably gonna want that back here. Oh, there! Damn! <laughs> they buffed that up here, I think, in terms of kill power. I feel like that move just kills earlier than it did. It's definitely killing. But you're right. I do see that Mr. E is not really. You know, it's it's Wolf. He, his recovery is pretty pretty linear. <laughs> pretty booty. Well, it's heavily booty. But in terms of like you know you you either know what you know when he's either gonna up beat or when he's gonna uh, side beat. So, oh what? <laughs> Did they yep. both tick? What happened there? Oh my god, the parry! Avoiding the shield, avoiding the shield poke. Okay. Nice to get behind him. So that's one thing about this game, they actually buffed ledge roll so that it's pretty much unreactable now. And that kind of hurts Mr. E. He no was known for being one of the best ledge trappers in the entirety of Smash 4. And this time around, if you have to, are forced to read something, well, I mean, okay. Not up B, man. Even if Mr. E is forced to read something, it seems like he does a pretty good job. <laughs> you know, he definitely does a good job. He, de he definitely does a good job. Right, but if you're Dark Blues, you know, I wouldn't really worry too much. I mean, it was, uh, unfortunately, it was, it was lost for him, but... So one thing is, I'm trying to remember who Mr. E was playing earlier. I think it was against the Cloud. And he was doing this thing where, for the beginning, he was going off and, like, contesting. You know, he was, like, staying on ledge, just getting damaged. And game two, all of a sudden, he's like, For glory! <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, runs I mean, on stage and runs crazy look, it's, stuff. It, it's, it's, it's conditioning, man. Uh, it is. So this time around, like I would not be surprised if we see E being maybe a little bit less, uh, being more comfortable having no ground under it. Oh, well, there you go. As soon as you say it. I, I study. I learn. And also, keep in mind, it might work out badly for him. Like, Wolf off stage is actually kind of scary. Like if you mess up, side B can kind of mess yeah, you up. Yeah. But it's only the it's only the end hit. Like, That's true. It's only the claw, the actual claws. The claw. So as long as you position yourself fine, you're 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 actually okay. Although the up is a whole different story. You might die. <laughs> oh, Ooh. all right, good counter. Another forward tilt. Guess you're trying to read the uh, immediate side B right there. That's what that counter was intended to cover. Possibly just a falling aerial, but as it stands right now, this is an even game. Very close between the two of them. Oh, missing the back here. That definitely would have killed. All right, Blue's this just kind of some spaghetti going on right now. Oh, the parry. Back throw, putting him off stage, but 
Will he actually be able to convert this into a stock? Dion Ledge, this is a bad position for him to be in, but will it actually mean the end for him? Oh, just look at that. <laughs> Not even, oh my God. There it is. Oh shoot, but he made it back. Yeah, we say it jumps out here, man. Yeah, so I'm telling you, get, Mr. E just like stays super, like, uh, what's the word? homebound not leaving the stage for game one and then game two all of a sudden it's like okay i it's, think you it's I, the ultimate debate <laughs> <laughs> like you thought <laughs> no the ultimate debate is that's i love you juke out your opponent all right now just oh unfortunately this is like the mr e just throwing him off stage all dark blues catching that jump with the up smash and that's something that you have to do, you know? Like, hey, yo, throw it out. If you see him jumping too much, throw it out. Is it, if it don't work, it don't work. But if it does, you get to stop. Especially because Mark, when he goes into the air, he kind of commits. Like, yes, he has a discharge, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. I believe it's still the case in this game. He has one of the longest short hops of any character. Like, the amount of time it takes from when you jump, from when you hit he the feels, floor. He feels kind of floaty, yeah. It's not floaty. He just has, like, a very high short hop and kind of floaty also. I know it's the case in... Smash 4. It might not have case. Look at that. White man can jump. <laughs> Alright, and you see Blue's just trying to rack up this damage with the laser. Oh my god! He's been going for that two frame with the down tilt. It's a safe thing to do. It hasn't worked out yet. But against the Wolf, it only needs to work once. <laughs> this is also very true. Beautiful read with the up B. Okay. Wow, the patience! Oh, actually just gonna do it! Also, think about what that... So he's shielding on ledge and Marth comes back. He could've shield breaker. The threat of shield breaker, he could've died right there. But yeah. he knew. He's like, you're not going to shield breaker. <laughs> Blues, is, Blues is confident in his play. That's why. It's so... spacing? It's so crucial to, to just really, really not second guess like what you do. In Smash, you know, and Blues is Blues is one of those players who's like, yo, this is gonna work. I know it. <laughs> Plus, uh, no, Wolf's up smash scoops you. Like, if you're on the side of him, yeah, it's not only gonna hit like the, the top. Like, it'll scoop you to the top. Do you think Dark Blues would ever risk it by going for a beefy up B with or beefy side B? Hell yeah. There's no reason. Like, I'm wrong. Well, he was countering before. If you remember, he was like countering on the ledge. But it seems yeah. like he just is bouncing instead to and snap. And that's one of the things that I haven't seen this. That's one of the things that I haven't seen Mister E do. Uh, you know, like go off the stage and counter. But Blue's, you know, opting for a low recovery, getting that forward tilt. And the thing is, though, keep in mind how long it took for that stock to go away. Like E is, I've seen him trap people at the ledge continuously, and their stocks at like seventy percent. And it seems like he's really kind of. I guess as you say, Dark Blues is finding a way to get around it. Like that right there, the spacing yeah, on that sure. side beat. But, you know, throughout the whole thing, and this is Ooh. what I'm talking about. Oh, I was That's talking what about I wanted to see from E. Wolf side B is definitely. It's, it's can he snap to ledge with it? Yeah. Did he beefy up B? Or he, he, can beefy snap, he, he can snap. To, he has three angles. He can snap to the ledge with all with all three of them. The down one being technically the hardest one because if you're still holding down by the time you get to ledge, you're just gonna fall to your death. Uh, but because now now the thing is that Dark Blues as a wolf player, we know that sorties are annoying when we're off stage. 